Alright my friends, I rec this is your seat at the table, and uh, I don't know, some of y'all are going to know this already. Like I said, as you, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm on a journey of exploration in many ways, because I'm trying to learn as much as I can about the Jihad era and the Dark Ages. Uh, I have now determined that there are actually two separate ages here, because at the very early days, the Jihad and the Dark Age were so convoluted uh, in the early 2000s that it was hard for me to go, what? Everything changed so radically when FASA and uh, Fan, uh, Fan Pro Whiz Kids took over from FASA. It just is what it is. So I've been reading through a number of different uh, uh, PDFs that, once again, uh, was graciously uh, uh, given by a couple a couple people and uh, different sources. And uh, the information there is very deeply interesting. So, uh, you know, like I said, more often than not, I do make notes, which has its advantages or disadvantages, I, you know. So, uh, from my understanding, it was in 3068, the Jihad era started off. Bad enough, the word of Blake was on the offensive against uh, multiple factions. Others, as well, decided this was the moment to go on to do the same. Right? So, the, the inner sphere is under assault and from all corners from a, from a crazed cult. And so the local punk top, the local dumbasses go and decide, you know what, this is a time to sell some course too. Everybody's looking over there, let's go after that. Right? Typical inner sphere bullshit. Uh, Duke Hazzock's major attack into compelling uh, space ended with uh, major losses for both sides and no gains. Uh, Duke Kelsa Steiner declares war on the Free Worlds League, specific, uh, uh, and soon followed by the Duke uh, uh, the Boland Province. Kelsa Steiner cited pr uh, privilege in lieu of absence of authority from Tharked because shit, on, th shit going on at, at home or in the capital was pretty messed up. I mean, after all, somebody detonated or somebody set off the old nuclear reactors under the main city. I mean. You know, bombardment or whatever the hell it was. So in 69, despite successful counterattacks by the Free Worlds League, things started to stall out. So a bunch of people died, a little bit of territory changed places, a lot of resources are wasted, and we're back to the same status quo or just slightly modified than what it was before they started. They're getting froggy. Typical inner sphere BS, right? And now we have the, as of uh, 69, the Free Wars Leaguer in dis disarray as the Captain General was outed as being a Wabi false merrick. I would like to find the novel where that came out, where they said that. If y'all know what novel that's in, let me know because I think that's one I would try to, would, I might try to dig up because I really would like to know uh, or read more about that event when it took place because, woof, right? I mean, we always kind of suspected it was something, something a little bit going on there, but uh, something different. And it's always when you got Comstar involved, you always have to go, sure, <coughs> what they say. So once again, both sides took considerable losses and no appreciable gain. So once it came out, you know what we see. We see the the major breakup. The regular states broke away, and uh, 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 Andrea Andrians uh, broke away. No offense to Andrians, tried to break away every generation at least once. It's kind of their national pastime, or their their leadership's national uh, pastime is to uh, be rebellious shits and and uh, you know dis uh, unappreciative members of something. So. You know, they're better off leave them out there on their own. They're going to die eventually. Somebody's going to run them over. And if it ain't the Free World League that goes in and sucks them back in, it'll be uh, the Compellents or the uh, or, uh, or uh, Canopens that are going to crush them. Because it's just, there's a, yeah, I know there's relations there. I know that people are married there and related. But that is a nothing when it comes to interstate politics. So we will see down the road if and where how that all ends up. I mean, Generally speaking, the smaller entities don't remain, and they don't remain free. Eventually, a bigger, the bigger fish comes and, and takes them in. Is what it is. So, in uh, 68 through 74, Word of Big Forces managed to capture three of the Laren's premier industrial centers and turn production to bolster their own ranks. They grabbed Hespers too, and then uh, Down Eagle and Coventry. Then, for some immediate reason, they also went after Solar Seven. You know, baffled about the Wabi's invading uh, with considerable resources and effort to take the Solaris, but to what end? <coughs> what were they trying to gain there? 
of publicity. They got all the publicity they could ever want. Um, revenue? I don't know. Arms and repair facilities? I can see maybe that that was the reason. Uh, generally, though, the mech production and and repair facility production on solar system isn't that that massive. It's not that big. Yeah, it supports the gladiatorial uh, uh, arenas and things like that. But that's just what it really does. There's a little bit of off-world marketing and things, but nothing. And then I got some unex still unex uh, unexplained. You know, the orbital attack on Cyan. Not sure 100% just who or how that got set off. Uh, the orbital attack on Taurus, or was it an orbital attack? Did somebody actually strap uh, rockets to the or engines to the asteroids and aim them at the planet? I mean, because that's a pretty, it's not exactly a clever way, but that's a pretty uh, sci fi way of dealing with problems. You know, most solar systems have a ready, ready arsenal of uh, uh, world destroyers, just need to give them a little direction. Right? Fractus that's more common in other game franchises but it's, it's surprising that it isn't used more frequently so it must be not as convenient and as easy to do as uh, people think they can or ought to be or it's just I don't know is what it is but you know, whichever reason who actually Go, went after the pa capital uh, of Taurus and that set off uh, a feud between uh, part of the Federated Sons and Taurus uh, for quite a while. You know, so we look at the Fed Sun side of things, the Wobbies assault on New Avalon ends in a, uh, a Word of Blake retreat uh, uh, after heavy destruction of industrial civilian centers. They didn't massacre the planet like they did some other places. It's not so they didn't lack, it wasn't because they had the lack of the equipment to do it then. They could have decimated the world. Well, from a literary standpoint and from a game standpoint, that's not a cool thing to do. It's one thing to blow up a part of, you know, Tharkad's uh, ruling uh, city and uh, it's another thing to sterilize a planet. Uh, it's not that it can't be done, but it shouldn't be done on a whim. That should be a major a major turning point or, or a catalyst in the ongoing era's Com, you know, com, uh, confrontations, in my opinion. Uh, you know, is what it is. So we look in, uh, by 1973, the, the Lyran Alliance starts to rebound. They retake Hesperus and Coventry, but uh, so there's still, still somebody manages uh, a devious bomb implanted in a former pirate leader detonates at a conference on killing many storied characters on Ark Royal. That was, uh, once again, that has to be part of a novel I'm going to have to hopefully figure that out if that's part of a novel because I think I want to read about that one. Obviously, that's something I missed. If I know that there's a a large gulf in the the novels era, the novels fell off considerably and then they 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 took off again. Uh, so there's eras that may not be very full, well flushed out. And if that's true, uh, it is what it is. But I kind of would really like to. I uh, have set or read through, or if I did, maybe I've read through that book and I just don't remember it because I, I don't remember uh, this this guy with uh, an explosives in his embedded in his bones uh, being used as a as a an assassin's tool. I assume by the word of Blake. I think I read that that was that the, they attribute it to the word to the word of Blake. And then we got uh, Scion, uh, the Confederation of Wobbies, uh, uh, someone strikes Scion. We don't know for sure. Somebody strikes Scion, almost killing uh, Sun Tao. Kali Liao is, is or is not a member of the War of Blake, or is she a pretended to be at one at the last moment, turns her forces uh, on the Wobbies to save Liao. She may or may not have been a... a have had a kid by uh, Cameron St. James of the 6th of June faction. Politically, uh, Kai has undergone some genetic surgery at the hands of the word, or Kali has g undergone some genetic type of surgery at the hands of the word of Blake. That's also not clear to me yet. Uh, then we move into Devil and Stone. Mevil and Stone is worthy of a video of himself. And I think I'm going to save that because, um, man. I got a lot of questions and a lot of wonders about that, you know. I got notes on it too. Uh, and I already did the video on Sun Tao, really genetic offspring, Hans Davion. So, a lot going on in this particular era, which is to be expected. Uh, things are definitely stepped up, and I can see where the Republican sphere gets born out of the chaos of the, uh, the jihad. 
uh, in some twisted way where the bike achieved some goal except they're not involved in it or not in the control of it or are they hmm. what's really going on behind the scenes that's where that stoned character comes in because there's a lot of questions about him and and we talk about uh, Mary Sue type characters even when they lose they win they can just do everything and, and they're good at it they're perfect they're masters of without ever even having done it prior to the whatever they're doing it's mostly the the type that can succeed and it can succeed and even when they fail they succeed so I mean eventually we know the ending of stone we know how stone goes out and everything he worked for in all of his dreams terribly changed and I know that the amount of pressure and time and worry that went with you know creating the inner the Republic of the inner sphere and and some and running it and keeping it together for as long as he did will take a toll on a person and potentially change them the way stone acted and talked at the very end of the hour of the wolf compared to the man that's in the stories that I've read so far coming out of the jihad ooh, that is a total completely turnaround individual if this is the same person otherwise there's something potentially else going on here that we're not a hundred percent aware of and then we you know it, it, it's just keeping in mind that everybody's focused on the the word of Blake and the splinter groups from the the wobbies and from Comstar and possibilities of them lingering and being little cells here and there or whatever even though it's officially considered dead a dead end by uh, CGL the idea that uh, uh, they're the only entities that do shit like this is foolhardy at best your delusions man that's just it's like a lot of the 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 rhetoric I hear coming out of my own country's politics these days and the people who suck it up and buy it up without thinking about the whole ramifications it just shocks me I mean are you you that dense how you not see how this affects you and me and all of us you know it, it's just and I and I'm not I'm looking at all directions when it comes to the both the, the two parties in this country because they're both messed up and the the they're leading us in a very bad way and by bad examples in many ways take that any way you want so the facts are that the, the inner sphere the there's a couple books i read not all that long ago it was talking about some of the conspiracies and possible things that could be in the game uh universe that are in the fringes or are the fringes the fact that things like the illuminati is a a myth that's been with humanity uh, since the, uh, the early the early dark ages or middle ages of our own history uh, but it's it's hard not to go back and think that's still a possibility people with enough wealth and power can do things in the dark that none of us are aware of that have massive ramifications across the world for many years and so to have just the possibilities to get another shadowy organization out there that manipulated or created this stone character for their own their own reasons or for whatever is possible but that's just a conspiracy thing anyway lots of stuff going on it's been really it's been really really interesting i'm actually uh doubled up i've got two different source books in the work truck that i three quarters of the way through one of them and i just started partially into another one and because they're totally different eras but the depth of the material in them is very good and very very engaging and that's the talent for writers that they can write the source material that will keep inviting you to write uh, read more of it yeah that's much it's it's different to write stuff for a source book than it is for a novel i mean i still have that kind of that pull good for you guys anyway you guys have yourself a great weekend going on my friends this is rick and hey if you like the channel please hit the subscribe button uh hit the like button tell your buddies tell your friends tell your co-workers tell anybody else that's in the gaming industry or gaming uh fandom that says hey this is a channel worth checking out right until next time, I hope you guys have your